Hey guys, Pierce Cloaks here, and we're playing it Coffee Talk. For some reason, I like to play coffee games, and I'm not sure why, but let's jump right into it. Ooh. I'm really liking the start of this so far. Okay. Ooh, fancy. Coffee Talk. Very lit. Warm, cool, sweet, bitter. Alright, let's start this. What is your name? Barista. We're gonna call ourselves P- Oh, I have to delete the whole thing. P- I- I- E- R- C- E- Ah, Pierce. Okay. Uh, confirm. Is Pierce correct? Yes. I feel like lo-fi beats is just what I need. Seattle, 2020. 20 years after the end of the world and prophecy were proved. Wait, 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 wait. 20 years after the end of the world prof- Wait. <laughs> 20 years after the end of the world end prophecy was proven wrong. A time when the big war between the races is only a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crushed without even getting the chance to be discussed. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. Alright. Yeah, I'm so cool. Check me out. I smoke. Don't smoke, kids. Drug free. And elf people. I never noticed that. And orc people? Vampire people? It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves and started their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and used computers forward to forward their lives. He uses a computer. Okay. And when humans live among them, just like we've always known. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Check that out. Alright, coffee, coffee. Most of these stories are left untold. But some, if you find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and closed doors. They're spoken over drinks, or talking up residents and some strangers' memories. Alright. In one corner of the city stands a cafe, a place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. A place where people share their stories. Okay. And these are their stories. Thursday, 1st of October, 2020. Okay, okay. Interesting. Look at this. This is... Welcome... Oh, it's you. Hi, Pops. How's the night so far? It's calm, as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Huh? What happened? store where I usually get my ingredients made some logistic errors, so I didn't get most of the ingredients I usually use to make my drinks. Man, that's a bummer. It is, but don't worry. I still have the ingredients I need to make that <laughs> make that coffee you need. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. That's nice to hear. Uh, it would be pretty silly to open your coffee shop if you couldn't even serve a simple espresso. Can't argue with that. Anyway, let me set a set things up first. You're the first customer on a really bad day for the cafe. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor, so I'm used to taking things slow. Real slow. Ha, huh, writer's block again. You got that right. Are we working on another big scoop? Or is this about your plan to write that big work of fiction? It's the latter. Ah, the machine is ready. Pardon the inter interruption, but do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. I really need that triple shot espresso. Okay, ah, uh, how? I honestly don't know how to make things. I don't know how to make espresso. Who do you think I am? Milk, milk, brew. 
Okay, coffee, milk, milk. This is probably the wrong one. Café à latte. I'm gonna have to note this, am I? Okay, give me a second, boys. I gotta make a sticky note. Coffee, milk, and milk equal café à latte. I, I don't even know. Should I serve it, trash it, serve it? I guess I'll serve it. One cup of joe for my only customer tonight. Hmm, smells good. It's not what she wanted, though. This is good coffee. Not exactly what I wanted, but still good. What the? I don't know. Anyway, where were we? You were about to tell me your plan regarding writing fiction on a big scale. Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing short stories for the newspaper, you know. But it seems like the right time for me to challenge myself and right time for me to challenge myself a bit more. That's good for you. Ha. Huh. Sounds good in theory. But when you start to really do it, that's when reality hits hard. Well, I mean, that's to be expected. At least you still have your job to support you while you're writing the novel in your free time. Ha ha. Ha 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 Oh, I don't like those caps. Ha ha Uh, did I say something wrong? Ha ha ha. No, you were right. You said what I should have done instead of taking the path I'm on now. And that path is... You know how the newspaper I work for is owned by the biggest book publisher in the country, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Yes? Well, I asked my chief for the opportunity to focus on writing the novel. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, basically I asked him to give me pay leave so I can write the novel for our publisher. Sketchy. Silence. Silence. Dot 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 dot. Come on, don't give me that look. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to ask. And how did your boss react? He challenged me. He said if I can get the initial draft ready in a month, then my weekly target for news will be heavily reduced so I can focus on the novel. And he will push the fiction publishing division head to approve my novel for publishing. Although, I will still need to submit daily short stories too. That's not bad, considering you will get the opportunity to be published by the bigger, biggest publisher here. What if you fail? He won't, forbi he won't forbid me from working on the novel. But I will still have the crazy workload of a journalist. I will lose the chance to be published by them. Ouch. Well, at least you've gotten a month to finish the initial draft. Okay, okay, let's let's think about this for a second. You just told your boss, hey, um, I'm gonna take pay leave, just letting you know. It's okay, because I got, um, what was it that you were saying? You went ahead and you're making a novel, but you're not losing your job, and you're depressed because of the novel? Come on. That was last week. Dot dot dot. Again, don't give me that look. So you've got three weeks to finish it. How far along are you? Err. <laughs> I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero? Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um, well, <laughs> look at that face. <laughs> it was so bad that, well, to the point that I just deleted everything immediately after reading it. So, zero. Huff. Yes. I really need to finish it in, at most, two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. Does anyone see that sketchy man sitting in- he's walking past my shop and he just comes back and forth? He's in a hood, so we know it's the same guy. We pull it off well. I know, I know. I don't need to be so uh, cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of the short stories I'm most proud of here, you know? Really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. Yeet! Customer! 
Welcome! Welcome. Hi there. Hello. Good evening. For here, miss? Yes, please. Not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? Depends. That depends highly on your mood. We're just here to meet a friend. I'm not planning to be awake all night, so definitely no coffee. How about chocolate? It'll be perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. A uh, cup of hot chocolate, please. Hot chocolate, okay. Okay. Here we go. Alright, and... Uh... I feel like we should do chocolate, chocolate, and then milk, maybe? Uh, I guess that's what we gotta do. You wanted chocolate, so have some hot chocolate. Look at that. <gasps> milk chocolate. Serve it. <laughs> Your drink is ready, miss. Hmm. You know, in my native language, we call the color brown chocolate. Because the color looks, well... Chocolate, wait. Wait, so... I, I don't understand. This drink doesn't look brown at all. Oh my, I'm sorry. Must have made a mistake. It's okay, at least it's not coffee. Ha! Got it! What's her face look like? And it's warm. So are you waiting for a friend? Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now, you've gone from not having anyone to three customers in one night. Ha ha ha. I thought this place would be more crowded, considering it's the only cafe open after midnight around here. Because it's the only cafe that's open after midnight. It's mostly empty. Ha <laughs> ha. That's smart. Now that you mentioned it, is it good for business, having the cafe only open at night? Definitely not. <laughs> she's She's hating on me. Yep. As she said. Then why? I just love doing it. There's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Yes! That's what I'm saying. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running the cafe in this situation? That's a secret. Pierce here is rich. That's the secret. Oh, really? She's exaggerating. Besides, I live in the cafe, so I'm saving a lot by not having to worry about accommodation costs. Don't worry so much about him, he can manage. I'm sure the cafe won't close down anytime soon, so you'll still have a weird, calm place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, it seems like you're a regular here. I don't really have anywhere else to go. <laughs> I'm a writer that works well at night and in a cafe. I'm, I'm your best bet. There's not many options for that combination, right? Uh, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the evening whisper. Shut up! <laughs> no, really. Wow, that's interesting. What kind of things do you cover? Anything, mostly I cover... Oh, anything, but I mostly cover interesting stories from people all around the town. She also writes the daily short stories in the paper. You really can't shut up tonight, can you? Ha! <laughs> That's great. That's great. I'm so glad she's hating on me right now. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? <laughs> Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then are you... Then are you here to write a new piece? I should be. But I don't even know what to write about right now. Oh, someone's coming. And another buddy o pal. It's another elf man. Welcome. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay, I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Oh, I didn't see that. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Hmm, surprise me. What kind of order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something bitter that can keep me awake, but add some milk to it. Some bitter. Something bitter?
bitter. Okay, uh, I'm gonna brew that just like that. So two green tea and one milk. Uh, milk green tea, serve it. Some people actually like that, putting milk in their green tea. I'm not a fan, but some people are. Here's your order. Thanks. Perfect. You're good. Anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's the rain. I know. Bailey's. It's okay. As I told you, I was having a nice chat with them. Oh, his name is Bailey's. Oh, yeah. I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Bailey's. Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Hi, I'm Freya. I'm Pierce. Hey, did you know uh, Miss Freya here is a writer from the Evening Whisper? Oh, really? I did some work for them a few times before. Uh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I did some caricatures and infographs for the paper. I assume you were in contract with Steve? Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? Dot, dot, dot. No, he isn't. <laughs> but I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. Ha ha ha, come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. There's always another beneath the deepest. How does that even work? Shut up. I'm not sure you've dealt with the bad customers before. <laughs> the only bad customers this late at night are the lost drunkards or criminals. That sounds really bad. <laughs> nah, they're easy to handle. He's good with his fists. <laughs> not as good as he is with coffee, though. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing whatever it is that I will write. So I'll leave you two. In the hands of this man. <laughs> okay. Where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over at that table in the corner there. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. He. He. <laughs> I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. Shall we move to other seats too? Nah, here is good. Okay then. So how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. Finished my proposal on time, so my boss didn't keep me at the office late. Plus, I think he was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy, go-lucky person. Well, he is. Today was pretty special. I'm not sure what's happening, but it was great seeing him so happy. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a pain. You know how they always depict really bad clients on memes? Oh, that's great. Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. Why not just make a meme about her, then? And lose my current project for a minute of laughter? Actually, that might be worth it, though. <laughs> you should ask Pierce here about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh, yeah. How do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones that don't need your fist to take care of. <laughs> I do have my own methods. Every single customer has to be dealt with differently. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now, that's one good lesson to learn for today. Uh... I might be describing your parents without realizing it. <laughs> um, did I say something wrong? Oh no, it's okay. It won't be okay for us, though. So, you talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. So, I'm guessing they're a couple, and they're different races, so... They won't give us a chance at all? No. How about you? It's the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's house starting tonight. They kicked you out? 
You don't have to cause yourself this kind of problem, you know. They are your family. I can't stand even one more a second living under the same roof with them. I mean, I might not have stable income, but I can manage with all the freelance jobs. Still. You don't know what they said about you last night. I'm sorry. What do they say about me? Or about my race, I assume. Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old... Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures, about our immortality, about how even if I outlive you... What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me, no matter... No other elves would want to be with an... Wait. No other elves would want to be with an elf that's already been tainted by a Louis succubus. Oh, I know. That's what she is. That's exactly what they said. So this is it then. End of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. And I'll never be able to leave them. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We could just continue the way we've always been. Without them knowing. And then what? We're not like humans, you know. I know some human couples get their family's consent because they get too old and the family just gives up. But we're not human. We won't die of na natural causes. Lua, I don't care about their permission. But I do. Do you want to be in this kind of relationship for the rest of eternity? If I get to spend it with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. You're making this hard for both of us. Do you love me? I do. Do you feel happy when you are with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we are perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. She looks angry. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua, wait! Sorry you had to listen to our problems. That's alright. This cafe has witnessed many kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. Huh, <laughs> I hope so too. Do you have alcohol? Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that can warm and calm me down? Do you like green lattes? Green lattes. I'll take one green tea. Green green tea latte. I think that's what the green tea la latte. I figured it out. Here's your green tea latte. Such a pro. This is good. How come I help this guy out, but everyone else is a no? Thank you for this. By the way, are you married? Me? No. Do you have someone you love? I love my family, and I love this cafe. But I'm sure that that's not the answer you're looking for. <laughs> I didn't really have any expectations for your answer. Man, out of all the creatures in the world, why did I need to fall for her? You can't choose who you love. You can try hard enough. At least that's what my old man said. He really said that? Yeah, he is one weird elf. But I guess all of my kind are weird. Weird, pretentious, mortal. At least you can have eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an eternal. Anyway, I need to go now. And probably drink myself until the sun rises. Still a white... There's still a while until sunrise. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. She looks like she's in shock. You're listening from the corner? Yes. Poor souls. Hope they find their way together soon. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to close up shop after this. That's pretty early. I know. Tomorrow, once my ingredients all arrive, I'll open as usual. Okay, then. Have a nice rest, old man. You too. 
Hey! We did it, boys. Friday, 2nd October, 2020. Indonesia appointed the first... Oh, Indonesia appointed the first female orc president in the world. Werewolf activist imprisoned for owning illegal drugs. Cats are the best creatures on earth, researcher says. <laughs> Superhero is not a real job, according to the governor. Seattle groceries uh, distribution problems harm local restaurants. Okay, okay, okay. So honestly, this is great and all, but there is so much in this. Good evening, pops. Good gracious, what's wrong with you? Can't you just enter like a normal customer? I'm sorry. But I'm so excited to share something with you. What are you talking about? You know what to write? I know what to write for my novel. So one of your impulsive temporary ideas again? Hey, don't be rude. I'm being serious here. Okay, okay, just tell me. What are you going to write about? This cafe. What? I'm going to write stories about this cafe and the people who come here. Are you for real? Yes. What if I say you can't do that? I'm not asking permission. It's like a, a breach of the customer's personal lives, you know. Relax, I know that. I just need inspirations from this place. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see here. How loosely based? Blade Runner novel versus movie level loose based. Okay. The old one? Of course I'm talking about the old one. Hmm. That means really different, you know? You know what's funny is they're actually talking about the Blade Runner and how there wasn't a new one. But now there is a new one. So now that joke doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, actually. Or do you want uh, me to make make it like the Fanatic's interpretation versus the actual holy, holy text level of loosely based? Shut up. I mean, it's not like I care... Like, I can say no to something you'll work on, right? No, you can't. Although, you could simply forbid me from bringing my laptop or notebook here. I won't do that. Thank you. Anyway. Ah, it seems like someone is coming. I wonder what kind of stories they have. Heh. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what kind of... What sorts of stories will fill the room tonight. Crazy stories, man. To be continued. Oh! <laughs> what have they done? They stopped me right here. Why? Oh, it's getting so good. Oh, I want to buy the game. It's actually a good game. And it's like, it's not bad either. It's, it's really good. This is a beautiful game. Guys, if you want to check out Coffee Talk, go and look up coffee talk on itch.io check out the game this game was amazing i don't know what else to say because this thing was awesome like the storyline was very thorough very well developed and the graphics were amazing the pixel art on point animations really good it's just good all around thank you for playing wishlist us on steam absolutely i am right after that all right. Well, I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Check out that game because it's pretty good. I'm just saying. Just play it for yourself. See if you can uh, um, even get the one on Steam because, oh, this game is so laid back. I love it. All right. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.